Hey, it's Lucy. So I just did something for the first time during my PhD. I went into the lab on a weekend. Yes, it's a Saturday, but I'm only gonna be here really quickly. I just really wanna crush up my minerals. It was my choice. I wanted to crush my minerals up in advance of Monday when I can put them back in the furnace. And it only took like an hour. Ah, they're still magnetic. They shouldn't be. That means there's magnetite. I don't want them to be magnetite. But I can't help but compare that small step to a line that I've crossed, the thin end of the wedge. It's got to be one of the most common questions postgraduates ask themselves. How many hours per day or per week should they be spending on their project? It's also one of the hardest to answer, because who can say? Your supervisor isn't going to tell you. You don't have a 9 to 5 contract. You've probably got 24-7 access to your department. You've probably got one mate who keeps his toothbrush in his office, and another who says they work efficiently enough to leave at 5 every day. So how do you know what counts as slacking off and what as burning yourself out? Are you being lazy, just wanting to come in at 9? Or are you looking after yourself after staring at your screen late into the night? Is working at the weekend normal? I have no idea. When you have total control over what hours you work, you're gonna have to be disciplined and motivated enough to work hard, but then be sensible enough to know where to draw the line and take care of yourself. I try to think of the perfect work-play balance as being zero on a scale, with plus 10 being risking hospitalization because you're working so hard, and minus 10 being risking being kicked off your course because you're not working at all. You want to be as close to zero as possible, but maybe plus or minus three on the scale isn't gonna affect your health or studies that much. Going down to minus five, and you probably need to up your game a little bit, put a few extra hours in, but on plus five, you're coming in a bit too early, leaving a bit too late. You can quickly see how difficult it is to get the balance right. And this is kind of something you have to figure out for yourself. And here are a few things to consider while you do. Firstly, and most importantly, do not listen to anybody when they tell you how many hours they work. People seem to use busyness as a form of social currency these days, to the point of blatant exaggeration. Or it's, who's the tiredest? Or who's just got so much work to do? And you're there like, ah, why am I not that busy? I should teach on another module, or I should do yoga after my morning run, or I'm gonna teach myself to code of an evening. Secondly, and leading on from this, do not listen to how accomplished your friends of friends of friends are while doing their PhDs. You'll hear of people who are professional dancers, or musicians, or presenters during their PhD, and you'll think, why can't I find time to be that accomplished? Just keep your eye on your own ball. You don't know what's going on in other people's lives, and I'm sure to someone out there it looks like you're the amazing one, but you just happen to know the inside details. Thirdly and finally, don't set yourself a minimum or maximum amount of hours per day to work, because there'll be days when you're on fire and you just want to keep going, and then days when nothing comes from you, and it's fine. In academia, and I've noticed particularly older academics when they're talking to younger, there's this terrible, terrible attitude that if you're not working yourself to flat out exhaustion and misery, you're not cut out for academia, or you just don't understand yet. And this is not an okay way to think, and certainly not an okay mentality to push onto your colleagues who are less experienced and still figuring things out. Being an academic, at the end of the day, is a job. It's something we get paid to do, it's something that fills our working week, it's something we do enjoy, that's why we do it, but it's not our life. We we have hobbies, we have families, we have other interesting commitments that we enjoy. And how dare anybody imply that unless our career is our life, that we're somehow less good at it. So whatever your approach to work, whether you choose to work the weekends or nine to five, please remember that. To summarize, don't compare yourself to others, don't worry about others, work hard, don't work too hard, Good luck figuring out how hard you're working. Overall take home message? The deeper I get into my PhD, the more I realize we're all just free falling and making up the parachute as we go along. If you have better advice than mine for managing your time, which won't be too difficult, please let me know in the comments and tales of similar levels of confusion would also be appreciated. Thank you as always for watching. And if you like this channel, you can subscribe or follow me on Twitter or Facebook for updates. Take care until next time.